Hello everyone, John Drucker 12 back here again with another video, and today I'm here with a Marvel video. I've I haven't done Marvel stuff for a while, so but I think today has been like the best uh, uh, topic to just talk about today. So let's just get right down to it. I'm gonna try and make this as quickly as possible, but uh, we officially got our first look. Entertainment Weekly released uh, the cover for their magazine. The Avengers Age of Ultron team, went, and they gave us our first look into Ultron himself. Now, first off, I was on the fence of Ultron. Like, to be honest, as a comic book fan, I was truly, truly, like, on the fence with, I'm pretty sure a lot of other fans were. I mean, like, we all know, you know, Whedon is God, and the Avengers movies uh, on the Marvel side has been, you know, the best of the best when it comes to comic book movies, but at the end of the day, there are certain characters that, when you think of it, I don't know which way it can go, you know, it, it just really, you have to see it to believe it, to, if if that makes any sense, but we've got our first look at Ultron, and he looks pretty badass. We all knew that James Spader, who's playing Ultron, was going to be wearing a motion capture suit the whole time, and I think it was a good idea to do that. I mean, like, to tell you the truth, if James Spader was just doing James Spader and just wearing, like, some shitty-ass fucking mechanical suit over himself, it would just look stupid. And the way they made him, pre the way he's presented looks actually badass. Like, I think it looks, he looks like a true, like, superior villain. And especially in comparison to Loki. I mean, come on. But anyways, uh, I I'm really happy with the whole thing. I, I really dig the suit. I really dig the, the helmet especially, which is, of course, the main thing. Uh, everything looks cool. I, the set photos look interesting. Uh, I wasn't big crazy about that because obviously the, the set photos for all these Marvel movies tend to look the same, so it, it's not really that big of a deal. But Ultron looks pretty badass. I hope this movie is going to be really awesome. It comes out in May of next year, so I definitely can't wait for that. Everything is going to be amazing, I hope. And uh, I really hope that just shit goes down, like craziness just happens, you know, and Ultron is like definitively like the ultimate villain of Marvel for this new generation or this new decade, like he just needs to break down the doors of like, this is Ultron, this is the definitive, you know, Marvel villain of now, until Thanos or whoever the fuck they decided. But anyways, on a side note, I wanted to mention something real quick before I end this video. Doesn't anybody find it strange that all the photos of like every single one of these Marvel movies, especially the Avengers, always has these characters not wearing their masks. What's up with that? Like, I, I find that really weird. It's like on the cover, you have Ultron and that's awesome. But then on the sides, which is completely unnecessary, you had Iron Man and Cap Cap over there in the corner. Like, why did they? That, why did you need them? Now, granted, you need them because, of course, just having a straight up villain on the cover, you know what? Is, you know, it's just, unless you're Empire, it doesn't really matter to Entertainment Weekly, but I don't know, it just felt unnecessary. And plus, why the hell are we always getting these photographs of, of Tony Stark and Steve Rogers without their helmets or masks? You're fucking comic book characters, bitch! I know that's Robert Downey Jr., I know that's Chris Evans. Wear your fucking mask! I know that's Chris Hemsworth. Wear your fucking helmet, dude! I'm just saying, like... I think that's the number one thing I haven't really heard. I mean, I've heard some people bitch about it, and it's true. I mean, like, it's something that needs to be taken seriously. I mean, like, yes, we know that this is in the real world, supposedly, and we have these wonderful, creative, crazy cra um, comic book characters, but at the end of the day, you're a fucking comic book. That's kind of like having a Batman movie, and, like, the majority of the entire movie, he's not wearing his cow, but just a suit. What the hell are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I know you're Steve Rogers, I know you're Chris Evans, if I wanted to see you without your mask, I'd fucking look at you like on your normal days off, fucker. I'm just, I'm, I mean, like, I'm not trying to, like, bash on anybody or anything, but it's something that's really been bothering me. It's like, why are these guys, these actors and these, these filmmakers continuously show us these, uh, like, these set photos and, you know, photography shots of these characters without wearing their 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 significant iconic masks and helmets it's just ridiculous like seriously dude wear your helmet and wear your fucking mask i know you're robert downey jr i've we've known that for years now all right we don't need to fucking see your face once again on the cover of the avengers fuck off but anyways that's that's all i really have to say what do you guys think uh 
What are your personal thoughts on Ultron, the first look at Ultron? We've gotten some other stuff on him before, but this is like the first actual photograph. I personally like it. It looks pretty badass. I can't wait to see what James Spader brings to the table. Uh, secondly, what do you guys think about what I just commented on? I mean, like, I know it's not that big of a deal, and it really isn't, but it's just, you know, it's just, just put on the mask. Just put it on. Just, just put it on. No, 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 just, just put it on. But anyways... What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Also, right before I forget, uh, before I end this video officially, I just wanted to side note really, really quick on the fact that supposedly Joss Whedon has changed the origin of Ultron. Now we all knew that this was eventually going to happen, but it's kind of strange and I want to know everybody's thoughts on it. Of course, uh, the, the, um, the construction of Ultron has a lot to do with Atman. Now, of course, Atman has its own problems. Of course, it's on a ways off, and it's something that may or may not happen anymore. I'm pretty sure it's still going to happen, but, you know, it's still on the fence. But basically, the creation of Ultron has a lot to do with Ant-Man, but seeing as how they changed the origin, Tony Stark is now, apparently, from plot details that Joss Whedon and... and, and and others have given us on Entertainment Weekly apparently gave us the the detail that Tony Stark is actually the the uh, the creator of Ultron and he creates him to specifically help out the Avengers and I guess becomes of course self-aware because he's artificial and then decides that the problem is not you know whatever it's because of the earth things and decides to kill them all and destroy you know humanity as we know it so i just wanted to throw that in there and get uh, other people's thoughts on that as well and plus what do you guys think about the new origin story of ultron of course you know in, in comic book history lots of origins are retcon or recreated and shit but it just feels unnecessary it j it's like i mean ant-man is like a ways off it's like right over here like on the cusp of like on the on the fucking table onto the screen so i i kind of felt like i don't know like did they jump the gun a little too much did joss whedon want ultron a little too much or something i don't know it just felt unnecessary and it's just an origin that just felt like you could have just went with the simple comic book route you know you didn't really need to have just tony stark build him but what did what do you guys think about the whole uh, idea of tony stark being the creator of ultron and what do you guys think about the overall look as well and that's going to be it hope you guys enjoyed